Miko, we're in Cumbria, we're at M Sport. Your rally car is being built inside as we speak in preparation for the first event of the season, Rally Sweden. Temperatures here are akin to Sweden at the moment. I think you're looking a bit cold, but how are you feeling about the season ahead and a brand new car? Well, obviously, it's, it's really exciting times. I mean, we've been working a lot with the new car and there's so many things to learn. But I feel really relaxed, actually. I mean, okay, season is starting, I'm really waiting for it, but uh, we just, yeah, just take it as it comes. There's no panic at the moment, so uh, I'm feeling good. Is it a huge change from the Focus, the championship winning car that we saw and that you loved? It is, yeah. I mean, rules have changed a lot and cars, they need to be completely different as well. I mean, they are wider and shorter, engine is different, we don't have a active center diff or, or paddle gear shift anymore. So there's a lot of things which have changed, but uh, it just makes the driving a bit more challenging kind of a bit more interesting you have to just drive it a bit more you just need more balls to just set the car in, in the corner and just step on it and go for it and uh, you know I, I really like it so I'm sure spectators they're all gonna have a lot to see so a little bit more harder work for you inside the cockpit then would you say a little bit yeah I mean the car it doesn't forgive you so much and like especially in longer corners it's uh, it's a bit more difficult to fix your lines so uh, if you get it wrong, you just need to hope for the best and, you know, stay on throttle and uh, try to keep it on the road. How are you feeling about your kind of assault on the Drivers' Championship this year? Then obviously two championships are up for grabs, the Manufacturers, which is very important. Also the Drivers as well. Last year didn't go quite to plan for you. Can you turn it around now in 2011? Yeah, I believe I can. I mean, for sure, it was a tough year and I did learn a lot out of it. So, so uh, there was good things as well. But uh, I think one thing is, like, like I said, I'm not really thinking of the title or anything. I'll just go for the rallies, try to have fun and enjoy it like I did two years ago. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, as a team, I believe we're going to be very strong. Like you saw, about everybody saw how much Yari Mati grew up and he had a really good result. So uh, as a team, we're going to be very strong. Talk to me looks-wise about this car then. Do you like the look of it? It looks quite aggressive, doesn't it, don't you think? I think it looks really good really good and uh, it's not the looks but it's also how it goes it really and like I said there's still a lot a lot of work to do but uh, what we have now already I feel like we can definitely win rally so just have to wait and see Yari Matti one week till Sweden we're in the workshop at M Sport at the moment with your car being prepared brand new car for this year how much are you looking forward to the Fiesta of course it, it's gonna be very exciting uh, new cars new different things in the car but I really enjoyed the balance. The balance is absolutely brilliant in the Fiesta. Uh, more work to do inside the cabin. You have a sequential key lever. You have to do the, the clutch release now yourself. You don't have launch controls. But uh, it's maybe like, you know, you go back 10 years in the time, but still these cars are quicker than what the cars were 10 years ago. A little bit more physical for you then inside the cockpit. Yeah. And at the first test when I you know, had to start working with the sequential gearbox, it felt like, wow, it's, it's a little bit hard, hard for, the, for the right hand, but then you practice your muscles and then it will be okay. So what else do you like about the car then? Obviously you haven't competed in it yet. You've done a lot of testing though. It's a, in, line, in, in a twisty road, it, the balance is really good. It's really easy to, to turn the car and uh, also I like the, it's stopping very quickly and the suspension travel is still long travel. It's really good. Engine is getting better and better all the time, even though it's um, it's 1600 engine, it's very, it's, it feels good, but uh, you need more reps uh, because it, I think the area is between something like uh, between 5,000 and 8,000, 8 and a half where you use it. So be, below that, there's nothing like in a focus, you, are, you always use the torque, but more sound, more exciting for the people. It should be a great spectacle, like you say, exciting for the people. They do make the most incredible noise. But what about for yourself? Obviously, all the drivers want to win the driver's title. How are you going to approach that this year, Yari Massa? Okay, the first priority, of course, for, for, for the team is to, to win the manufacturer's title. It's been 2007 last time, so we want to work for that. And of course, every driver wants to win the driver's title. But when we have a guy called Sebastian Lope, who is the best in the rallying history we have ever seen, you need to get every single detail perfect to, to win the driver's title. It 
means driver, team and the car. But my, my target is to, to fight for the driver's title and then we will see during the year how things come together. Now we saw a, a different approach from you last year really, we saw consistency coming into your driving and you seemed a lot happier with 2010 than obviously 2009. Will your approach be slightly different this year? When I do, after the very difficult season 2009, obviously I had a, I was in a position on a number two driver, which gave me a less pressure, but of course I had the pressure, I was putting pressure to myself, I knew that I need to be, be able to in, improve the consistency level, and after 2010, I'm really happy because I was able, I, I able to do that. I have a confidence that the consistency is now there, so that gives me more support to, to start 2011. So one week to go. Any nerves at all before Rally Sweden, or do you not get nervous? I'm not nervous at the moment. I, it's, uh, I feel very relaxed, but I know that when we go to Recce in Sweden, then the butterflies start to fly. And of course, everyone is going to be watching that first stage to see what the split times are going to be like, to see what the performance is like of the car. Yeah, always. It's a, it's a, in Sweden when you go to the first stage and you have the spectator stage and you have all the craft se session and everything and you have quite a long time to wait. Uh, that's where you feel really excited in the car to get to the first stage and uh, how it's going to be because it's full ice and how is the start going to be if you go end up putting too much reps and you will be spinning and losing time already in the start line. But uh, um, that's an exciting moment, but once you have done that, then it's tough. Well, we wish you every success for 2011. Thank you. Gerard, Rally Sweden is next week. 2011 kicks off and you're sitting on the brand new charge for Ford. It's the Fiesta RS WRC. How much are you looking forward to this season? I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's taken us uh, quite a few months to get this car on the road and uh, it's a huge effort by all the team to um, get the car to where it is now and then to go to Sweden next week. And it's going to be really exciting because um, it's a changing time in uh, WRC and with the introduction of the new regulations and the new cars, the unpredictability that that will bring for us, uh, it's going to be an exciting time. We're up at M Sport at the moment. There's a real buzz around, isn't it? Everyone's been working all the hours they possibly can to get the car ready. Huge excitement. You got any butterflies in your tummy ahead of next week? Well, I have butterflies, but I'm shivering from the cold as well because uh, in, in true Cumbrian style, it's really cold here today. But um, no, the team are really excited. You know, there's a bit of apprehension and I think that's good to keep everybody on their toes. And, um, you know, the long hours and hopefully all of the time that we've put in over the last few months with the testing, the team traveling long distances, long hours uh, here at the workshop at night, um, that all of that will pay off at the end of the season. You know, the dedication of the team is what really counts when we're trying to get the car out under pressure. The Manufacturers and the Drivers' Championships are always the targets for the team. We're back to zero points, of course, at the start of the season. How confident are you that the new charge and the drivers that you have can claim those championships for you this year? Well, we're confident. Um, you know, if we, if we weren't going to be confident going into the start of the season, we wouldn't be in rallying. And we're in this to win. Uh, we've always said that the Manufacturers' Championship is the holy grail, but obviously with the clean sheet from the start of the season, both championships are up for grabs and that's what we're going to be going for. And um, we've got a real contender here with the, uh, the Fiesta RSWRC and um, by the time the end of season comes, uh, hopefully it will be a good success story for us. Now, it certainly looks good, Gerard. Are you liking the looks on the car? Yes, the car is really exciting looking and I think even when it's uh, standing still, even with me sitting on top of it here, it's, um, you know, it really is exciting and I think it will appeal to a lot of people. The, the actual design of the car uh, brings a lot of cues from the road car, which is really important, but I think the, the, the colours and the livery uh, hopefully will remain in people's minds for a long time and it will become one of those iconic visions that people will remember when they see it on the stages. Malcolm, we're at M Sport, we're in the workshop, the cars behind are getting ready for Rally Sweden 2011. Brand new car and a brand new year, are you excited? Yeah, very excited. I think you can see it's quite tense times here. Uh, basically we've been testing until the very last moment uh, because we want to try and optimise the car. So uh, there's a lot of a late call, should we say, and a lot of the final specification. But hopefully the, uh, the nine cars that you see behind you will uh, be, in, be in Sweden next weekend now obviously we're used to the focus the championship winning forward focus the fiesta new to you all do you think this has the potential to go out there and be competitive from the off i don't think there's any question if uh, 
if you said to any driver, you know, what is the perfect dimension of a car, then the Fiesta really fits that bill. And of course, it, it, it fits perfect with the new FIA technical regulations. Um, so of course, it, it's the perfect it's a perfect base of a car. Now, Sweden is just one week away. We can still see lots of frantic activity behind you. Talk to me, though, about what's gone on before. A lot of testing has been done. Are the boys happy with what they've seen so far of the car? Yeah, it's a unique situation for us because historically we've normally designed and developed a new car in sort of record time, nine to 12 months, and then literally had gone out and done two or three hundred kilometers and gone to an event because that's the time scale that we've been working to. This car is a little bit different because the, the, the Fiesta World Rally car that we're using this season is actually based on the successful Monte Carlo winning 2010 Fiesta Super 2000. So in one sense we've had a lot more time. Uh, so what one team of engineers and designers have been doing is been basically optimizing everything that was on the Fiesta Super 2000. So if we could lighten something they've been doing that, if something needed strength they've been doing that. Uh, but of course, then of course, all the re research and development team have been out there doing as many kilometres as they possibly can with the new engine because that's where the real new technology is in the 1.6 direct injection engine. So uh, up until uh, the close of play on Friday, I think we've done something like 11,000 kilometres of uh, testing, which is something I have to tell you we've never done in the past. So in one sense. We should be better prepared and equipped than we've ever been. Uh, but I have to tell you, I'm still as nervous as I am when uh, we've got a car that's probably only in two or three hundred kilometres. So there's a few butterflies in your tummy then ahead of next week? Yeah, there's no question. I think uh, anybody would because, you know, it's, uh, it's new for everybody. Uh, and we're all sat with a clean sheet of paper. So uh, I can't wait until the, the first split time starts to come through in Sweden. And the boys, Yari Matti Latvala and Miko Haven, an equal footing in the team this year. What are your hopes for them both? Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody knows that last year we, we altered our team structure slightly so that we took the pressure off Yari, uh, made him number two driver. But I think uh, everybody could see that it, it really worked and I'm really pleased the way that, uh, that he developed throughout the season. So this season uh, we set off both drivers uh, that are on an equal footing equal machinery and um, no doubt we'll see what happens throughout the season but I'm really happy with uh, you know to retain the two Yari and Miko as, as we had had last season and I really feel that um, they're going to be very very strong. And of course they've both done well at Rally Sweden in the snow so maybe a little bit of an advantage but they're in a totally different car this time. Yeah they're in a totally different car and as you say they've both won the, won the event but uh, the one thing that you want in Sweden is a car that, uh, if you do nibble a snowbank, a, a car that reacts very quickly. And uh, that's the great thing that we've got with the, with the Fiesta, with it being a little bit smaller than the, the Focus. So, uh, you know, both the drivers are commenting on it. It's just fantastic the way that the car can change direction so quickly. And uh, we've just got to make sure that they can keep it out of the snowbanks in Sweden and we'll be okay, I think.